Hi, this is Tom with Compix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this lower third in Compix Persona. I'll be demonstrating and talking about the use of our Transform tab, 3D versus 2D layering, X files, Targa media files, and textures. And without any further ado, I will begin. I'm going to start by creating some shapes. I will use my rectangle creation button located at the top bar. I will click in the window and drag to create my shape. Now that my shape is created, I will use Control C to copy it and use Control V twice to paste it. My shapes are complete and I'm now ready to adjust my main shape. After adjusting my main shape, I will be going to my transform tab where I will be adjusting my slant. You can click on the arrows and drag to adjust. I'm now ready to make my object 3D. I'll go to my style tab and click 3D. Once you're in 3D mode you can apply textures. I'm going to apply a texture by clicking mix color, use texture, and environment. I'm now going to assign my map and adjust my U and V coordinates. To explain mapping a bit better, the U and the V will adjust your X and Y axes for your map. Then your U and V map will adjust and wrap around your 3D object. This gives your map the ability to unfold onto a 3D object. Now my U and V are in the correct positions and my texture looks like it should. As you can see my texture will adjust to in my environment. So if I am to give my shape movement or animation the surface will reflect my movement. My bar is now almost complete. I will add an edge by clicking on the middle A button and I'm going to readjust the edge size just a bit and change my edge color. Now that my first shape is complete I will adjust my second shape for my news headline. I will click on 3D again and readjust the corners to match my first shape which was set at 37. I will also apply the same texture as the first shape, but I'm going to adjust the U and V differently. This way I make sure the two styles don't match, so my top layer can stand out. Now that my texture is applied, I will readjust the color so that my color does not match my first shape. I have chosen a specific color, which I will enter in manually. I'm also going to make sure that my slant matches my first shape, which was set to 30. Now my second shape is complete. I will make a small readjustment, and then I'll take my third and final shape down into my lower third. I will apply the same slant and corner adjustments as my other shapes. You'll notice my large bottom layer is a bit too bright, which is making my third shape blend into it. I'm going to apply a gray to the bottom layer so that my third shape will stand out. I'm now just going to make some minor adjustments to my shapes. And keep in mind that if you click on the wrong shape, you can sort through the various shapes by pressing the tab key. Once I am done readjusting, I'm going to group my two shapes together. You can do this by holding the shift key and clicking on each shape. Then right click on the background and go to group. Or you can easily use the control G as a shortcut. Now my shapes are grouped together and will move as one object. Now that my shapes are grouped together, I will show you how to insert a TGA media file. You can get there by going to Insert Image Object. I will be importing this Compix animation here. I will select Sequence Images because it's a media file and not an image. I will select Infinite Loop to make the file play continuously and I will want my first frame which I've selected to match my stop frame which is 114.
This way my media file will look like it's one continuous media file. My image 114 matches my first frame. For readjustments, hold the shift key. Now that my TGA is inserted properly, I will show you how to import an X file. You'll basically use the same steps that we use to import a TGA media file. Make sure to select your window and go to Insert Image Object. Once imported, I will move the X file into the proper position. I'm going to slightly adjust the Z axis, making sure that it's above all other layers. If you have 2D and 3D objects in your project, you'll adjust 2D layers by selecting the layer tabs at the top, and you'll adjust your 3D objects by going to your Transform Position tab and changing the Z axis. Now that my lower third is basically complete, I'm going to finish it up by creating some text. I will click in my window and press the T button for a shortcut to get to my text tool. I'll click in the window and type. I will then press the escape tab to select my text and go to my style tab and make sure that 3D was selected. I will then click the middle A button and kick the edge up just a bit. I'm going to reselect my face button and go to my texture. I will then click mix color, use texture and make sure that environment is also selected. I will make sure that my gold map is selected and make some minor adjustments to my U and V. My 7 is almost complete. I will now readjust the edge and I will make sure that my edge has a texture applied just like the face of my object. Once my 7 is complete, I will readjust it to my lower third. If it goes to the back layer, this is because it's a 3D object. Remember that you must go to your Transform tab and readjust your Z position to change the layering for 3D objects. I'm now just going to finish up my text for my lower third. I will make some minor readjustments here and I'll make sure that my text is off of 3D. I'm going to turn my edge off and I'll make sure that my text is black. Now I'm going to make my headline news quickly here. Some minor adjustments. And I'm going to finish my lower third off with world news to go over my X file. If you have any questions, please email us at support at compix.tv or feel free to visit our website, compix.tv. Thank you.